in today's rapidly evolving generative AI landscape, being interview ready for generative AI roles requires more than just surface level knowledge. Irrespective of the fact that whether you are applying for a beginner level role like generative AI intern or an intermediate role like gen AI scientist, gen AI researcher, etc. So in this video, we will dive into the top 10 interview questions that any hiring manager will likely ask. The first five questions will cover the common theoretical questions that a manager expects any candidate venturing into generative AI know. The next five questions will be practical application based questions. Whether you are preparing for a role as a generative AI engineer, researcher or just an enthusiast, this guide gives you points that will help frame your answers with clarity and depth. So without any further ado, let's jump in. We'll begin with the theoretical questions. So let's begin with the first theoretical question and that is what are transformers? This is like the most basic and almost every hiring manager's favorite interview question. When this question comes up, you should be able to explain the entire Transformers architecture clearly. And while explaining the architecture, you should touch upon the key components like the encoder-decoder structure, various attention mechanisms, positional encodings, and feed-forward layers. Also, in your answer, key features like enabling parallel processing and handling long-range dependencies should be there. In fact, you should also highlight why transformer architecture is better than RNNs. Then you can conclude your answer highlighting the impact of the transformers architecture since it is the backbone of LLMs which serve as the foundation for the modern day generative AI applications. Also, you can highlight some disadvantages of transformers such as requiring large computational resources and huge training data. Also, I want to highlight the fact that Analytics Vidya has a free course on Transformers. You can click on the link above. And the next favorite question of every hiring manager is when should you use general purpose LLMs versus fine-tuned LLMs? In such a question, you should first establish the clear difference between general purpose LLMs and fine-tuned LLMs. And then you should jump to explaining the advantages and disadvantages of general purpose LLMs and fine-tuned LLMs to establish the circumstances under which each of them can be used. One of the best ways I like to explain the difference between them is using an analogy. You can also try that method. Another question related to fine-tuning is what is PEFT in fine-tuning or what is parameter efficient fine-tuning? The best way to answer this question is helping the interviewer understand how PFT helps in adapting large pre-trained models by updating only a small subset of parameters. Then you should be able to explain the key techniques which come under PFT, which are adapter layers, prompt tuning and LoRa. Then you should be able to specify the impact that PFT has brought in when it comes to fine tuning LLMs, especially for smaller companies. And then you can end your answer with certain advantages and disadvantages of the PFT method. Now jumping to the fourth question, explain a typical RAG framework. This is another favorite question of any hiring manager. You can begin with explaining what RAG is and the two key components that is the retriever and the generator. While answering this question, you should be able to clearly explain the entire architecture or the workflow of a RAG framework. And while doing so, the key features such as enhancing relevance, accuracy, contextual understanding should be highlighted. And just like the previous questions, you should be able to highlight the advantages and disadvantages of a RAG framework. The next question that most interviewers ask is explaining a diffusion model and its functioning. So you can start simply by stating what are diffusion models and how it generates data, especially images, by reversing a gradual noise process inspired by statistical physics. Now, a diffusion model's architecture should be clear in your head. 
you should be able to explain that architecture along with the key components which is forward diffusion and reverse diffusion and also you should be able to explain the advantages and disadvantages of a diffusion model and that brings us to the end of theoretical questions now let's jump into the five practical questions that a generative ai interviewer might ask which will help him understand if a candidate has high agency if he is explorative enough or if they are thoughtful while using the modern day generative ai applications now the first practical question that any generative ai interviewer might ask is what is the process behind building an agent tech system so when such a question pops up in your interview you can begin with explaining what agents is in one or two line and then you can go through either a specific framework that you have already used in your pet projects or your projects in previous companies or you can take some time and using some structured thinking build your own process to build an agent tech system so if this question were asked to me i would answer this in four steps number one how to plan the agent tech system number two creating the agent tech system number three performance evaluation with human intervention and number four can redeployment and feedback implement implementation now you should also highlight the importance of talking to stakeholders at the planning stage itself so you understand what the exact requirement is and you can build the agent tech system accordingly similarly you should also highlight the key planning points that is you should be able to deconstruct the number of tasks that will be done by your agent tech system and accordingly you should be building agents the general framework that i follow is building one agent for each task and also you should be able to highlight the disadvantages of building an agent tech system the next practical question you should be well versed with is explain any generative ai project you have built or contributed to now you can begin answering this question by highlighting the goal of the project your explanation of the goal has to be very crisp now to answer such question begin with the project goal in not more than two lines you should be clearly explaining what was the problem you were trying to solve in this project you can open your project in a github link or wherever you have hosted it and start explaining how you built the project and what your key learnings were and how you reiterated to solve the problem better you have to understand while answering this question that the intent of the interviewer here is to know if you are an action oriented person and have the ability to learn new things the next question you should be able to answer is which gen ai tools or frameworks have you worked with this question is pretty simple the intent of the interviewer here is to check whether you are a well read person and you keep yourself up with the prominent or the latest tools and frameworks you can simply start this answer by explaining all the tools and frameworks you know and that too has to be in no particular order and then you can highlight the key learnings such as what were the differences you observed while using two different frameworks or tools to solve the same problem now another question that the interviewers ask is given a choice which domain will you build a gen ai solution for the goal here is pretty simple you have to describe which domain are you passionate about and what problem can generative ai solve in that particular domain uh, the best way to answer this is highlighting the problems using facts or quotations from newspapers blogs highlighting that you are actually passionate about that domain and constantly read about that domain uh, again you have to understand the fact that the intent of the interviewer behind asking this question is to check your observation skills and see if you can solve a problem that you are passionate about now the final practical question that an interviewer may ask is mention your ethical concerns around using generative ai the goal here is pretty simple describe what concerns you have with generative ai's current uses and outputs 
this means you will have to be very observant and aware of the conversations around AI and also what have you personally observed while using it. And the intent of the interviewer here is simple. It is to check if you are a blind user or a very thoughtful person who can take generative AI forward in the right direction. And there you have it. Mastering these questions not only prepares you for interviews, but also deepens your understanding. From technical nuances like transformers, PFT and RAG to real world application and ethical foresight, each topic adds to your credibility as a capable and thoughtful generative AI professional. We have added links to resources for questions in the description. Keep exploring, stay updated with the latest tools and frameworks, and most importantly, reflect on the impact your solutions can make. Your next interview isn't just a test of knowledge. It's a chance to showcase your vision for AI's future. So good luck on your journey into generative AI. And do like, share and subscribe for more such content.